Welcome back to my Roblox beginner scripting tutorial series. My name is Braldev, and in this episode, we'll be discussing about operators. So just like at the start of every single tutorial we've been doing up until this point, we're going to uh, click on our script that we created in the previous episode. We're going to disable it, and then we're going to insert a script inside of the workspace by searching up script like this, inserting it, and then we're going to right click and rename this to the name of the episode, which is going to be operators like this, and then we're going to hit enter. And then we're also going to delete our code here. So now I can introduce to you what operators are. So in the last episode, we were introduced to if statements, which basically allowed us to check for a specific condition that needed to be met before we executed specific parts of our script. So an example of this is if we were to write if, let's say true, then we're going to hit enter and then we're gonna write a print statement here saying this statement is true, just like this. And if we were to run this inside of Studio, obviously it's going to print. So if we go to the game and hit play, then it's going to say this statement is true because what we did was for this condition, we literally gave a Boolean condition of true. So this automatically makes it a true statement. So that's the basics of using uh, if statements. But now for the purpose of this episode, I'm gonna be introducing to you a bunch of operators that can add more complexity to our conditionals so that we can have very precise and effective uh, comparisons that doesn't just restrict to one condition here. We can have multiple conditions and we can even compare different things depending on what the operator we're using is. So basically, there's two types of operators that I'm gonna be introducing to you, and the first one is going to be logical operators. So logical operators is what allows us to add more conditionals to the same if statement that we have over here. So instead of just having one conditional, we can have more than one conditional to see if more than one condition is met before we go inside of this if statement and print out whatever's inside of here. So the first logical operator that I'm going to be showing you is the operator called and. And basically what we're going to do is on the right side of true, we're going to hit space and then we're going to write in all lowercase and, uh, and then we can now put in a second conditional on the right side of this and statement. So we're going to say, uh, let's say false in all lowercase. So this statement compares true and it also compares false. And in order for this statement to be valid for, um, for this conditional to be met, both the left conditional and the right conditional needs to be true. And in this case, because the left side is true, but the right side is not true, that means this statement actually isn't going to uh, run because this conditional uh, was invalid. So if we go into the game and hit play, then what we should see is nothing inside of the output because we told this if statement that both the left and the right side needs to be true in order for this statement to be valid uh, based on this and logical uh, operator. So if we hit stop, then I'm going to go back to our script and I'm gonna be showing you another logical operator called or. So all we're going to do is replace this and keyword with or just like this. And basically what or does is it checks if one of these conditions is true. So because this statement is true, it's automatically going to go down to this print statement without even checking whether this right side is true or not because for or, all we need is just one of these statements to be true so that we can move on to uh, whatever the code is inside um, this if statement. So that is how we use and, and that is how we use or. Now, if I were to make these inside of a different example with using numbers, then I'm just going to delete this. And let's say if two plus two is equal to four, and if let's say on the right side, uh, we can say if five plus five is equal to 10. So this left side returns true because two plus two is equal to four, and this right side is going to return true because five plus five is equal to 10. So if we go into the game and hit play, then what we should see in the output is this statement is true. And if we hit stop and go back to our script, and if let's say we were to change this statement on the right side to be if five plus six is equal to 10, so in this case, this is not going to be true anymore. If we go into the game and hit play, then it's not going to print anything inside of the output. Now, if we were to stop and go back to our script and change this keyword to or instead of and, then only one of these statements need to be true. So if you go back into the game and hit play, then what we should see in the output is this statement is true 
because two plus two is equal to four, and that's all we need to know about. Now, there's one more logical operator that I want you to know about, and that is called not. And we actually don't put that in between two different statements, but instead we're going to put this before one conditional statement. So what this is going to look like is we're going to delete this code that's over here. And what I'm going to do is say, if not like this, and then we're going to put a conditional after this one. So we're going to say, if not true, then print whatever's down here. Now, basically what not does is it gives us the opposite of whatever this conditional statement is over here. So this true statement is actually going to return false because the not keyword gives us the opposite of true, which is going to be false. So if we go into the game and hit play, then what we should see in the output is nothing being printed because this actually printed false instead of true. Now, if we hit stop and then go to our script and then change this to false, then it's going to return the opposite of false, which is going to be true. So if we go into the game and hit play, then what we should see is this statement is true. And now if we were to hit stop and make this into a numerical uh, example, so I'm just going to delete this, and what we're going to do is say, if not two plus two is equal to four, then uh, we're going to print the statement. Now, obviously um, this statement is true, but because we have the not before it, it's actually going to return false. Now, the thing that you have to be careful about with this is we actually have to put in parentheses uh, inside of our Boolean expression. So let me show you what happens if we actually don't do this. So I'm going to go into the script and hit play. It's going to show in the output that it, that it attempted to perform an arithmetic on Boolean and number. And the reason it did this was, so if we hit stop and go to our script, it did this because it's reading this by saying, if not two. You can't compare not with a number. So what we need to do is insert parentheses like this so that we know that we're trying to compare this statement specifically. So two plus two is equal to four, that's going to return true, but the not is tied in front of it, so it's actually going to return false. So if we go into the game, hit play, then what we should see is this statement not returning false. So that is basically uh, logical operators inside of Roblox Studio, and that is something important that we need to know about for our conditionals. Now, the next set of operators I'm going to teach you is what's called relational operators. And this has to do with the way we've been comparing um, conditional numbers. And this has to do with the way we've been comparing um, equations inside of our um, conditionals. So I'm just going to delete everything we've had in this code up until this point. And what I'm going to do is say, if two plus two is equal to four, just like this. So relational operators fall into what we've been doing with this comparison inside of here. So if two plus two is equal to four, which it is, then it's going to return true. This is one relational operator, which is the equals relational operator. But there's actually multiple different ways we can compare this relational operator that isn't just restricted to the equals. And there's actually six relational types that I'm gonna be showing you one by one. So the first one is the equal sign, and the next one I'm going to show you is the opposite of that, which is going to be not equals. And so basically what we're going to do is replace this first equal sign. So we're going to hit backspace on this and we're going to replace this with a squiggly line that looks like this. So I'm going to hold shift and then I'm going to hit the squiggly line. Now for me, it's located on the um, top left of my keyboard. So I hope you're able to see it. But when you do make this squiggly line before the equal sign, this represents not equals. So if two plus two is not equal to four, then it's going to print this statement over here. Now, this used to be true, but now this is actually going to return false because it's trying to say if four is not equal to four, which is not true. So if we go into the game and hit play, then what we should see in the output is nothing because we're trying to say if four is not equal to four, which is not true. I hope this part is making sense to you so far. So now there's two more operators that I wanna show you. So I'm actually going to delete these two lines right here. And what I'm going to do is say, if two plus two is greater than four. So greater than is um, indicated by this right arrow over here. And basically what this means is, if this number on the left side is greater than this number on the right side, then it's going to um, return a true statement. Now, obviously this is not going to return true. So if we add, uh, let's say two plus three is equal to four, so two plus three is equal to five, 
then it's going to be greater than four. So this is going to be a true statement. So if we go into the game, hit play, then what we should see is this statement is indeed true. So I'm gonna hit stop, and then we're going to go back to our operator, and we can basically do the opposite by saying if two plus three is less than, so if we put in a uh, left arrow symbol before whatever's gonna be on the right side, then this is going to compare if this is less than what's on the right side, which obviously in this case, Five is not less than four, so this is not going to be true. So if we go into the game and hit play, then we should not see anything be printed in the output. So I'm gonna hit stop once again, go back to our script. And now there's two more relational operators I wanna show you. So we learned about greater than, and we also learned about less than. But now we're going to say if this is greater than or equal to. So basically what this means is if this statement on the left side is greater than this statement on the right side, or if it's or if it's equal to whatever's on the right side, then it's going to um, make the statement true. So if I say two plus two is, e is greater than or equal to four, two plus two is not greater than four, but it is equal to four. So this statement is going to be true. And we can do the same thing for uh, the less than symbol as well by replacing this greater than symbol with the less than symbol, just like this. And this is going to compare if the less if the left side is less than or equal to whatever's on the right side. Now, I do want you to be careful because a lot of people get this mixed up where they have the equal sign on the left side before the operator on the right side. So you can't say equals greater than this, like it's some rocket symbol right here, uh, or less than like this. You have to make sure that the operator is on the left side of the equal sign um, when you are comparing greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So that is the basics of using relational operators and logical operators inside of your scripts. And um, if there was some parts of the script that, and if there were some parts of this video that confused you, then I encourage you to rewatch certain parts of this video so that you can nail this down inside of your head so that you can understand how adding operators inside of your conditionals work inside of your scripts. So with that being said, for today's learning objective, what I want you to do is continue experimenting with adding more conditional statements by adding more operators inside of your conditional statements by, I don't know, adding another and statement with uh, five plus 10 is equal to, I don't know, 15. And you can just continue onward with what you want to add for your conditionals. Now, another th quick thing I want to mention is that you can have more than one um, logical operator inside of here as well. So we can have an and here and we can have an or here with another conditional, and then we can have another and here with another conditional, and it can just keep on going for as long as you'd like. So that's something else you can do with your conditionals, and I recommend experimenting with adding logical and relational operators inside of your scripts. And once you're done with that, then I want you to go down to the comments and paste whatever code you feel comfortable sharing to everybody else so that everyone knows what you've been up to with these challenges as well as yourself. So with that being said, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care.